Hello Aries, darlings, I'm Laurel, and welcome to Laurel's Moon in this bitch. So, this will be for the 31st, for the 16th through the 31st of January. Um, let's see here. Let me go ahead and sage my cards, baby. <laughs> Light up with me as I read you your life. So Aries, my loves, last I seen, you guys were pretty heated. So let's see what's going down this time. It definitely seemed like there could be some financial issues or possible land travel issues that you guys are dealing with. Um, based off of what I've seen in the cards. So here we go. Thank you for liking and subscribing to my channel, Aries. Thank you. My little fires and desires, baby. So you're going to be coming out of a time of feeling really uh, intellectually. You're going to be feeling sharp after you've reflected away from this period. And there's going to be some things that are going to be changing for you, Aries. Uh, yeah, definitely some uh, financial factors that could be stopping you all from, or some type of career that's stopping you all from being close to this partner. But there is something that is going to be going down with you all soon with your partner. So get ready. There could have been a third party situation. There could be some drinking and unionship. I seem to be getting this card with you guys a lot. With the three of chalices here. Um, someone who could be drinking. But I definitely see here that you guys will be mentally reflecting in the situation. Look how beautiful she is sitting in that water. You could be doing spiritual baths. You could be bathing. Um, you could be just really mentally reflecting on how it is that you are going to carry yourself. Um, now that your love has kind of or your emotions have kind of been flipped upside down with the ten of charlises or their emotions have been flipped upside down um, could be feeling like you know kind of erratic or this person could be feeling erratic with the queen of cups in reverse um, you felt like there was some psych some type of cycle that happened could have been dealing with a Scorpio Cancer or Pisces but uh, someone is feeling defeated with some emotions towards the situation. Um, someone's really not wanting to continue forward with this, uh, with the Knight of um, Wands here. So you, uh, there could have been someone who was juggling multiple things. Like I said, there could have been some type of um, financial career or travel that could be happening for you guys. Um, but someone is like definitely having some type of deception that's going down. I'm going to um, pull some clarifiers to figure out who that is. Someone's wearing a false mask. Someone is putting on a front. Someone is, um, you know, not being very truthful. And what we living for if this motherfucker ain't finna tell the truth? Shit. You know how many people lie, Aries? <laughs> could be a Leo here. You could be um, dealing with a Leo with the Sun card here. Someone could be uh, being de deceived. There could be with the Sun card here doesn't necessarily mean clarity. Uh, it could mean that you could be blinded by this brightness of the Sun, or it could be that there is so much. Um, brightness that you really can't see the situation definitely a gemini libra or aquarius with the knight of um swords here in reverse someone that you felt like you had a hard time cutting away from so it could be someone new that could be coming in for you aries could be um somebody could be rocking some boats <laughs> With a honeymoon card here. <laughs> yeah. So. 
could be dealing with Virgo Taurus Capricorn that you've uh, you know left away from the situation um, definitely someone who you've kind of called the shots with in these last little moments um, could be uh, Virgo Taurus Capricorn as well with the page of Pentacles in reverse but also um, someone who has Gemini Libra Aquarius in their chart but you kind of called the halt on this like you felt like it was really getting out of hand or out of control or you felt like you were getting out of control or they were getting out of control with the situation but you could be meeting someone here pretty soon um, let's see who this is who are they going to be meeting soon could be another Gemini Libra Aquarius or someone who's offering you like more intellect more so than um, you know once you let this situation go that you know you've had to love yourself first um, you could be meeting a um, Gemini Libra Aquarius or a Virgo Taurus Capricorn because it looks to me like you're letting this situation go you're not holding on tight to it anymore um, and then there could be some love that could be coming through for you, especially if you start taking care of yourself. There could be some things that you could be trying to change within yourself as well. But it's definitely some deception that's going around in this energy. Could be Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, especially with the uh, three of Charlestis here. Also, um, also with the Knight of Wands in reverse, someone who's kind of retreated away from the situation and... Um, Cancer Pisces Scorpio with the chariot in reverse I definitely feel here with the Queen of Cups in reverse it's definitely a lot of emotions that you guys have uh, wanted to leave away from and there could have been some deception that was causing you to leave away from this situation so definitely third party situations with the three of chalices probably someone who was drinking as well but I really feel like um, you know you could have really at one point in time thought that this person was like the love of your life or someone who was really like the apple of your eye but you felt like there was some type of false mask that happened so quickly um, and it just kind of really threw your emotions off as well and then it looks like to me you've had to like juggle multiple things or this person was juggling multiple things I really feel like um, you guys have had to You've seen that they were some type of family situation or you could see the futuristic possibilities with them. But at the same time, there could have been like a distance or some traveling away from them or some type of um, reflection or being called away. There's, I just definitely see that you guys are being taken away from the situation or there's uh you know a lot of distance between the situation uh with the ten of swords you're definitely going to take care of yourself since it's in reverse and you have seen the light in this situation for sure could have been dealing with a uh you're going to get your emotions in check though but you could be dealing with a cancer pisces scorpio and you're definitely um putting up your defense away from this situation and being called away for sure taking your passions in a boat and taking it with you somebody wasn't being honest you guys could have some distance between you two or it could be um that the deception caused the distance between you two so you could be dealing with someone new that you could be uh getting to know each other or trying to um they could be you could be seeing them as something new or something new could be coming through with the star card here uh oh okay so you're gonna get your emotions in check because at one point in time you weren't really trying to give out any emotions as you can see you see the water is not it's it will be reversed since it's reversed and it's the night of chalices you see that the messages and the emotions are not shouting out anywhere since it's reversed but you could be receiving um someone who could be coming your way you could see as a star it could be aquarius as well and also it says um calling in your soulmate so stay optimistic for sure about who it is you're going to be dealing with. 
Let's see who um, this new person is that you're going to be optimistic about. You could be doing some affirmations, some visualization. Somebody is, um, they could be chanting as well, um, getting their chakras aligned, um, doing whatever it takes for them to bring in what it is that they deserve. Interesting. So, I mean, this is the sexy card. This is my, okay, we about to be um, beautiful and bring the passion, honey. Okay. So, hey. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you definitely are going to try to block off some type of passion with someone with a page of wands or some Leo is going to try to block off a passion with you. So be on the lookout for that. Uh, especially with like little messages or of delivery of messages as well. But you're really going to try to be on your money though. Especially with the Queen of Pentacles here. You could be really dealing with some financial and some career uh, situations that have you really like, okay, what am I going to do here, you know? Um, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn energy for sure. But I feel like you guys are going to start collecting more and more possible business businesses business ventures of some sort but your finances and your career are like it seems to me like your main focus but you're really trying to bring in something new so you can probably get rid of this old um situation that made you be called it was called it was destined for you to be called away from this um for you to take a break on it and not really receive any type of um you know any deception so it's time to release your ex and let some shit go someone uh, could have been a little young minded in this situation with the page of wands um, a lot of sword energy here so Gemini Libra Aquarius but you really felt like a lot of the judgments that this person made was very tough